I'm Paul Kelly, this is uh, Joy Chu, and we're from the TBA Surge Group. So we're here today to kind of let those of you who don't really know about us know who we are, how we came about, and give you an update about the stuff we're working on right now. Uh, so our directive, our mission, what we set out to do is we help surgeons teach. That's what we're all about. Um, and primarily we've been doing that through surgical videos. Uh, now to give you a little background on how the project got started, Albert had made a MRP on an axillary lymph node dissection surgery. And so when uh, Albert was looking for work, he talked to our manager, Dr. Gordon Tate. Gordon uh, uh, runs the PI group at Toronto General Hospital, which is perioperative interactive education. They do a lot of interactive apps with anesthesia and surgery related topics. And so Albert was uh, looking to do some kind of video based work. And our surgeons, uh, Dr. Paul Gregg and Ian McGilvery, who are uh, staff clinicians at Toronto General Hospital in the HPV and multi organ transplant departments, they wanted to do some educational videos. So they talked to Gordon and asked him about it. Gordon says, Oh, I know exactly who you need to work with to do this project, which was Albert. And so they started it up. And then after a year or two, they brought me on. And then another year went by, and we brought Joy on. So uh, it's been nothing but you know, good feedback, uh, we've continued to expand, we've continued to uh, ramp up our, our production. Um, so our mission, uh, again, it's uh, to create 3D animation enhanced surgical videos uh, for an atlas. Uh, and this has led us to develop unique techniques uh, and workflows for filming in the OR, uh, editing surgical footage, as well as reconstructing, topologizing, rigging, animating, texturing, and rendering patient-specific 3D anatomical models. And since the beginning of the Atlas, uh, one of our directives was to make these uh, surgical videos that would be presented at surgical conferences throughout the world, both for our staff clinicians and for the fellows. We've also reached out uh, within our organization uh, to kind of connect with other departments. Uh, this was just one project we did where we made some still frames, uh, put them up on posters, and posted them in our uh, office space so people walking, get, walking by would see them, be curious, want to know more about us. And so these are some uh, close-ups of those images. So um, we're continuing uh, to develop our skills. These, this is uh, from uh, the first video I ever did uh, at TVA Surge, which is OK. Um, but over time, uh, I think our rendering skills kind of speak for themselves as far as raising our game and uh, amping up uh, those uh, texturing, shading, rendering, um, just building up the quality and our production speed as well. Um, and uh, probably the best example of that is our newly designed website, which I'm going to pass off to Joy to talk about. Um, so this year we decided it was time to improve our website. Um, so our old, um, these pictures are of the old website, and they're based on HTML. It's not very mobile friendly, and it was also um, very troublesome to update. Um, it was a very hard content management system. Um, and also aesthetically, it was bit out of date as well. So we researched some web design principles and um, content management systems and looked at other video-based websites and to see what areas we can improve. Um, so for example, in our old website there was kind of a uh, lack of visual hierarchy and then the lack of call to action button where do we want people to subscribe or do we want people to browse the videos. So then um, this is the new website and we decided to go with WordPress as the content management system. And for the theme, we explored um, between using like existing themes or child themes or built our own um, theme from scratch and they each had their pros and cons. But then we decided to go with the in-between option where we use the existing theme. And, but this existing thing that we found had lots of flexibility so we could do what we wanted to do with it. And then we also aim to update our uh, Atlas monthly, and we've been keeping up with that for almost two years now. And we also added some new features to our website. Um, on our website, we just had the CT viewer, um, but now we have a new 3D interactive module, which was made in collaboration with our summer student, McCann, and I believe he'll be talking about it in his talk. And as Paul mentioned, we make a bunch of conference videos for surgeons, so we decided to also add that section to our website as well. And also includes talks that we have done on topics that we felt it was worth sharing, and also um, lectures done by our surgeons. And this lecture um, 
the VR lecture here was per particularly worth sharing. So, um, biannually, our surgeon actually gives a surgical anatomy talk to the fellows. And usually, as you can see on that side, he usually draws out the structures, which can be a little messy. Um, so this year, as one of our first virtual reality experiments, instead of drawing, uh, let our surgeon draw the structures, we gave him um, a three virtual 3D model to teach with. So using the HTC Vive with the controllers. So with his controllers, he can point and turn off um, visibility of certain structures. Um, so that's like the room setup on top. Um, so we also started a blog section uh, to share our ideas and connect with our visitors and subscribers. And in addition to blogging, we also dabbed into other forms of social media to increase uh, our outreach, such as Twitter and Facebook. So follow us if you want to know what we're up to. And this year we also had collaboration. We also collaborated with um, surgeons outside of Toronto General um, from other institutions. And we created a module to teach um, surgical trainees how to deal with difficult laparoscopic cholecystectomies. And in this module, it's a multi-case module, and we had a video for each different types of difficult coli. And there's been lots of positive feedback from this module, and it's been used in hospitals and universities for teaching. Next. Uh, yeah, so now I'll pass it to Paul to talk about future projects. Thanks, Joy. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Man Sam for hitting us up on the uh, this uh, inbound marketing. That was uh, definitely a, a, a big influence on us. So uh, much of our work is based on patient-specific imaging, and this includes contrast-enhanced CTs and MRIs and cholangiograms. Uh, but one of the pieces that was kind of missing uh, was the intraoperative liver ultrasound. And we, we see this uh, quite a bit, but we had never really used this in our videos. Uh, so in collaboration with the Pi Group, uh, we actually uh, put in a grant for um, making a liver ultrasound module. Um, so Jody Crossingham, who had previously made this uh, virtual liver app, uh, will be heading that up and that'll complement our TEE uh, and TTE um, apps that are on the Pi site as well. Uh, so we've also been lucky enough to uh, play around with some stereoscopic video. They have these new laparoscopic stereoscopic uh, cameras that they've been using, so we've got to edit some of that footage and that's led us right into doing uh, stereoscopic animation, um, which also in turn has led us to work more on VR. So um, this has given us the ability to uh, kind of get primed for that, for that next wave. Um, and we do have a video here of uh, Albert talking through uh, the videos that we've designed. Um, also, there's a lot of excitement about 3D printing. Uh, we dipped our feet into that pond as well. Um, and then one of the things, you know, we really love about our job is the seemingly endless possibility of, of topics we can cover. Everything from different kinds of cancer, uh, to transplantation techniques, uh, even to microscopic anatomy. So uh, we're always looking for new ways to tell these stories and communicate with all our available methods. So uh, thanks very much for your attention today and look forward to all sorts of cool new stuff in the future. Thanks guys.